Let's talk nitrosogene and why it's in Yomi. So what is nitrosogene? Nitrosogene, this is a patented ingredient by Nitrogen 21, and it's formulated to be pretty much either a complementary ingredient to whatever pump ingredients you're taking or your sole pump ingredient. Now, how does it work? So nitrosogene is a nostril stabilized arginine silicate. So pretty much what our main focus is, is on arginine, right? If you guys aren't familiar, arginine turns into nitric oxide once it's digested by the body where citrulline turns into arginine and nitric oxide. So that's the connection between citrulline and arginine. Now, you might be wondering, why don't we see more arginine in formulas then? That's because arginine typically has very poor bioavailability when taken orally. Now, how does nitrosogene tackle that problem? As I said before, it's a nostril stabilized. So a lot of times in the supplement industry, what you see is ingredients that have poor bioavailability will be paired with a carrier. One of the most popular is something like magnesium glycinate, which is magnesium tied to glycine in order to have better transportation so that it can be more bioavailable. Now, nitrosogene chooses inositol. Now, what I really like about this is inositol, if you're not familiar, is a very potent nootropic, which means that not only is it going to help arginine become more bioavailable, but it's also going to lead to enhanced focus from that inositol. So one of the biggest benefits that you're going to get from taking nitrosogene in comparison to something like citrulline is because we're using straight up arginine and we're skipping that process of citrulline having to turn it into arginine, then to nitric oxide, you can get a much better pump from a much smaller gram yield. What I mean by this is 1.5 grams has been clinically studied to be equivalent to six grams of pure citrulline in terms of arginine blood serum levels. Now, arginine blood serum levels is a really good predictor of how much nitric oxide is being produced since that is kind of what we're looking for when we're talking uh, nitric oxide is how much arginine because it is the precursor to nitric oxide. And so since we're going straight to arginine, we don't have to worry about citrulline being transported into arginine first because we just have pure arginine. Now, why should you care about how many grams? That's because when you take a large pre-workout, the more actives in it, in terms of grams, the harder it's gonna be on your stomach. And you know we all know that you don't wanna be running to the toilet the second you start your workout. So by lowering the amount from six grams to 1.5 grams to get the same yield, you know we can really avoid stomach discomfort. On top of this, nitrosogen has also been studied to last pumps for six hours. So not only will those pumps last a long time, which means that you'll look really great in front of all your crushes, but also the main reason for the pump is that it brings all the fresh blood to the area that's been working and that new blood provides all the nutrients necessary for recovery, not only in between sets, but after the sets as well. So because your nitric oxide levels will be raised six hours after taking it, then your recovery after your workout will be that much better as well. This is the reason why I say pre-workout is more than just the looks or the feels. You know, it actually has very real bodybuilding metrics in terms of putting on muscle. The faster you recover, the more muscle you can put on, the harder you can go to the gym the next session, all that good stuff. Now, nitrosogen also has some anecdotal evidence saying that it increases energy, but for the main part, I use it in Yomi for that big pump. Like I said, 1.5 grams is about equal to six grams of citrulline, and you're really going to feel the pump from nitrosogen, I guarantee it. Also, that little bonus added uh, cognition effects or focus effects from the inositol is really, really sweet, and you're gonna feel that a little bit on top too. Overall, I think every pre-workout can really benefit from an added nitrosogen. I know a few people do uh, capsules on the side, but if you're looking for a pre-workout at, uh, at a lower stim option, something that you can take every day that has nitrosogen to get that really good focus and pump benefits and the recovery benefits, I really do recommend my own. I put it in the clinical 1.5 grams. You get 30 full serving at only 225 milligrams, so you can really load it, take it every single day if you want to, and I promise you the pumps you're gonna get on this are gonna be real good. The focus you're gonna have is gonna be also excellent, and it's a really good one to start out with. But if you guys have any more questions on nitrosogene or any other trademark ingredients that Nutrition 21 does or any other does, you can leave them down in the comments and I'll answer as many questions as I possibly can, as fast as I possibly can. If you have any questions for me, for my brand, any other brands, supplement industry in general, you can also leave those down. If you liked this video, you can let me know by putting a like on it. Subscribe down below. And without further ado, check it out.